Okay, save. And now what we're going to do is add some cuts to our truck, some more cut lines to our truck. So go to points mode and go to the knife tool. Open your attribute window and let's select line. I mean loop, excuse me, loop tool. And what we're going to do first is we're going to go here and add just a little bitty cut right there in the front. Go to the back. You can use the reference image for this, but I'm going to freehand it because it's pretty simple. We're out to cut there. Then we're going to add a cut right here. Go to F3. We'll add a cut right here. So, and then one right there. And one little big one right there. And we don't want to cut that at an angle here. So let's make sure we get the front ones. Let's go to the front view here. And we're going to add one cut here about centered ways down. Okay. There we go. And then we want to add one right here. And we want it out a little bit. We'll adjust it as we go along. There we go. Then add one here for the top of the cab. Down a little bit. We want it round the top. And this one real close in. Real close. There we go. And then one in the middle. There we go. Then we want to go ahead and add one more in here. And about halfway between the two. There we go. On that, let's go to F3. Looks pretty good. There we go. And what we want to do next is add a center cut here. Then go to F3, go back to your knife tool, double click it so that this pops up, go to line, unselect visible only, downsize it, and we're going to add two cuts here. So pull down and hold the shift key and cut it. Same thing here. And we want to do one right here towards the back, and then one right here. Okay. Now, we don't need any more. Some of these we'll add when we do the door, and we'll do this cut right here for the piece down here, but that's once we make the part, we'll do that cut because we want to try to keep squares or quads through the whole model. So there's all our basic cuts to it. Next is tweaking on it.